Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing another one of these limited edition Coke drinks, but this one is going to be on the Zero Sugar Movement flavour, or Move as it's uh, also known as. So, I got this out of a uh, supermarket, I can't remember the price, but I think they sell these for like, I think 80, 90p or something like that, because it's a special edition. Obviously quite expensive for a can of Coke or whatever, but you know what, it's special edition, so you know, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so, let's give you guys a full 360 of the can. So of course, this limited edition is uh collabed with the singer rosalia if i've got that correct and i'm aware of the rosalia if it's the same artist the rosalia meme on the internet uh if that's the one i'm thinking of but i think yeah she's a singer and does some other stuff as well i didn't personally hear of her until i saw the kind of meme on uh, online and stuff the rosalia meme uh and all that but you know there we go anyway so we have kind of a split can so we can have half kind of black and half kind of pink now it does look fairly cool to be fair it's got um obviously the black side with kind of the coat color with the outside with the right and we've got some squiggles going around there which looks cool and on that side it seems to just be pretty standard and pink and on the back we've got the ingredients stuff on black as well with shiny uh, silvery writing on the bottom we've got nothing and on the top everything is all standard and silver included the pool ring let's take a close look at the cam so of course, yes, this is the Coke uh, Zero Sugar, so there's no sugar, which is good. So reading the back of the can, I don't honestly think there is a, that much of interest. Again, it's it's just Coke, so, you know, I don't really go into detail too much because there's not really anything to go into detail because it's not an energy drink. But apart from that, yeah, just again, looking, and I think the sweeteners are a Sudafem K and a Spartamate and a Sewer Close, so it's got all three sweeteners there. But literally, apart from that, you cannot tell what the drink is. So... Anyways, it's nice and cold. Got my Zesty Lime Studios cup. So nevertheless, let's uh, open it and find out what it is. So obviously these are basically based off, obviously kind of normal standard Coke. And I mean, kind of obviously if it's a sugar-free or, you know, zero Coke or full sugar Coke. So whatever one they're based off, or even diet for that, that matter of fact. So whatever one it's based off, it's kind of is a standard Coke, but these are meant to have unique separate flavors for this drink. So we all know the color of the drink is going to be that uh, kind of usual really really dark just brown black color the color of death so yeah hopefully it doesn't explode over me oh, nice and safe and i have no idea what flavor this is meant to be like i said it doesn't tell you on the can so it really is either look online and try and guess from what other people have said but to be honest people are people say these creations always taste all sorts of weird stuff anyways and the color is surprise surprise and as always, Coke is super, super fizzy. Let's pour that all into there. Might put that to one side. So once the bubbles have died down, because again, Coke, one of the fizziest drinks on the planet, the color is indeed the usual color of just super, super dark brown or black, as you can see. And it's non-see-through, as you cannot see my face through the drink, just see a bunch of reflections on the glass. So yeah, that's the color of it. So let's give it a closer smell and see what it smells of. So it definitely smells, it definitely smells different. It certainly reminds you of kind of that kind of Coke smell, but there's certainly something else in there. Almost, almost a bit of a tropically kind of fruit smell, but when I say that, I don't mean like like a pineapple or a mango or kind of that type of exotic fruit. So I mean, kind of like more, more kind of like a coconut -y style kind of Hawaiian kind of vibe smell. But at the same time, I don't know, it feels like there's a little bit of, I don't know, maybe it's a bit of vanilla or something in there. That is really weird. Hmm, interesting. Well, nevertheless, guys, let's taste some. Mmm, I've definitely get, oh, oh, that's interesting. Definitely getting like a vanilla-y kick and then almost a kind of weird 
popcorn-y kind of slash kind of butterscotch slash kind of butter-ish kind of taste, if that even makes sense. Oh, that's interesting. Let me take, uh, let me sip a bit more. Yeah, it's like a white vanilla crushed butterscotch uh, slash buttery slash mix kind of combo. I mean, yes, it has got that Coke Zero back in there. I mean, ultimately, that's what the actual base drink is, which I said makes sense. But the fact this has got those kind of few flavors mixed together is super interesting. Yeah, it's just like a mild vanilla mixed in with, yeah, almost like a weird popcorn taste. A kind of a weird off buttery style popcorn. Hmm, that is interesting. Certainly different, and I'll give it that. Certainly, you know, big up to Coke for making these crazy flavors and stuff, but really interesting flavor. Let me take one more sip, then um, we'll see what's what. Hmm, right. So like I said, at its base, yes, it is Coke Zero, ultimately. But, um, you know, even over the fridge sweeteners and everything like that as well, always with Coke Zero, there is just no kind of artificial taste or generally artificial chemicals, really. It's just kind of what Coke Zero is, if you know what I mean. But obviously, even with these specific flavours for this drink, again, there doesn't seem to be no harsh chemically, chemically taste with those flavours as well, which is, again, always a bonus. But ultimately it's it's interesting but okay it's not nice but it's not disgusting by any means whatsoever it's like i said it's just something different it's probably nice to try a can of this as it is like fair enough okay but i certainly wouldn't buy this as a main coke flavor week on week out like to say normal coke zero for example so uh yes it's great that these additions come but I don't know, would I want to drink it every single day if it was a full main flavour, to be honest with you? No. So that would obviously be based on the rating I'm going to give in just a little bit. But really, that's all I can give on it. It really is just a weird kind of off vanilla-y kick with kind of popcorn-y slash butter slash buttery squash kind of mix. And that's basically what I'm getting from the drink. I could be right, I could be wrong. Again, I don't actually check Coke's website what the actual flavour is meant to be because I think they do release the actual flavour uh, so many, I think, months down the line. I haven't actually checked yet, so I could be completely wrong or completely off. But you know, you know, if you do look online, there'll probably be a bunch of different people saying maybe similar things or completely different to what I've said. So I'll uh, look up after the video and see what people say. But as far as I'm concerned, it's okay. But the question is, how many zesties shall I give this out of ten? Well, I think, in all honesty. I think probably honestly a five, five out of ten. Bang slap in all because yes, it is just a bit better than average, but I wouldn't want to drink it every day. So, oh, excuse me, guys, fizzy, Coke, super fizzy drink. See, I think bang slap five in the middle to keep it. Uh, yeah, five out of ten. I think that's about right. So, but yeah, if you do see this about, if you pick it up again, it's worth it just to buy one can. But as always, viewers, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Oh,